Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach, Shannon Smith. Shannon, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well, Stephen. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm good. Only disappointed I was not recognized by any of your players' parents this week. So just uh, <laughs> Mrs. Caddy from last week. Uh, I'll have to, you know, talk to the parents about that and see if we can get more some more run-ins and recognition with you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Shannon, your team's now 6-1 and one on the year. You picked up two more wins last week and really look going back to the week before, three wins in six days, uh, a really tough stretch, but your team was able to uh, pull out three victories. Uh, thinking back to those three wins, what are your thoughts? Just super proud of our team um, to start off the month of March so strong with three big wins. Um, you know, I think super exciting over Albany, uh, Wagner and, and Marist, um, you know, I think that we continue to grow and develop each game, which is really exciting um, and just really, really proud of them. Yeah, and in each win, it's kind of developing to somebody different each time, whether it's on offense or defense. The Albany game, I'm thinking back, and it's a little long ago now, but I think that was kind of the game where Shannon Boyle was just a superstar on the field. Uh, and then obviously uh, Katie and Taylor on different games. Jess Smith in every game. Uh, is that kind of the, the method to the winning that's working for you guys right now? Yeah, I think it's huge. Uh, and I really just think it starts with our leadership and just the chemistry on our team of really everyone believing in one another um, and different people stepping up for our team to be successful each game. Uh, and it's been a really, really fun to watch. It, you know, I know on offense, it's been really fun to look at the score box score and see a lot of different goal scorers. Uh, and it's been really fun to, to have that. Um, and, you know, our theme has always been no hero ball all year. Right. And everyone just kind of do their role, um, do what, what you're best at and not no one be a hero out there on the field. And I think it's been really fun to see that. And I think our defense as a whole, has just been super consistent in um, our games led by Shannon Boyle and, and Jess Smith. So that's been really great for us. And then in the midfield, you know, Jackie Gaddy leads that bunch uh, being the senior. They just really run the field hard and work super hard and, and do all the little things correctly with Jackie Gaddy, Kate Fiola, uh, Carrie Walzer and Katie Kelly. So that's been really great um, with that group as well. And the Wagner game, it was, I would say, I think you're going to agree it was 45 really great minutes and 15 rough minutes, but 15 of those great minutes came after the rough minutes, which is kind of the growth of your team, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think, you know, a lot of resiliency, um, you know, you, you expected Wagner to make that run. They're, they're very good um, and very strong in the second half. And I think our team weathered the storm um, in the third quarter. And obviously when something like that's happening, it's very easy to get down on yourself or, or as a team. Um, I thought we did a really great job at staying resilient, um, sticking to our game plan and having that belief in ourselves and, you know, got it together for the fourth quarter. And I think you saw a little bit in, in the Marist game as well, um, a little bit of a slow start in the Marist game and the Marist came out super strong. Um, and you just saw the growth of our team fighting um, in quarters one and quarters two um, and starting to build the momentum as we were going into halftime and, and really took over the game in quarters three and four. So I think one of the great things about our team is we won a multiple two to different ways this year so far. Um, and that's been really fun to watch. So not only do we have different people stepping up, but we have experienced different things um, throughout each of our games this year, um, which is huge for us as we continue to grow and get better. Yeah, you just touched on it. The Maris second half compared to the first half, a really dominant second half, uh, almost a tale of two different teams for you guys. Uh, what clicked there in the second half? Is there something you could pinpoint? Um, I don't know if there's something that necessarily clicking. I just think that it took us um, a little time to get our legs underneath us. That game was moved from Saturday to Friday um, and just our way our our week was structured. We actually had off on that Thursday. Um, and I think that we didn't really have that practice before the game. Um, you know, we had to walk through that morning, but I think that's a little bit different than actually practicing. And, um, you know, so I think it just 
took us a little bit to get our legs underneath us. But I think within that, um, we had different players stepping up for us and playing strong. I thought that, um, you know, Jess was making some really great saves. We were winning draw controls and we were getting great shots off. So we were sticking with Maris the whole time. And, and then we just kind of, you know, took it to another level um, and we made those adjustments. Um, so I think that was, you know, really great of our team. And a couple people to mention that game taking it to another level. Taylor, uh, four goals in that game, including an incredible spin move to the goal. Uh, that was really fun to watch. Uh, the, the development of her this year has to be maybe your, your most proud uh, advancement of any player on the team, isn't it? Yeah, Taylor's been phenomenal for us this year, and and that's really a testament to the hard work that she put in all summer, um, all winter long, and just she has a lot of confidence and, and belief in herself. She's always cheering on her teammates and always either staying before or after practice and sometimes both before and after um, to put that work in. So I think that's really great. She's got a, an amazing IQ, and she's super, um, you know, she's super quick and and very tough out there. Um, she's a hard dodger, so it, she's tough to stop. And um, she sees the field well to um, making those passes. So really fitting in nicely with the rest of our attack unit. And another player, Katie Whalen and these eight meters. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Shannon, you have seen more lacrosse than most people have ever seen or will ever even think about. Can you kind of touch on Katie and these eight meters? And uh, obviously we see what she does every single time maybe what makes, what, how did she develop that and kind of what, what makes it so dangerous other than just the speed, how she kind of comes so perfect at it? Well, Katie loves that shot ever since her freshman year. I, I mean, she just, you, you can see her on the field all the time. When you look out, she's just got a bucket of balls and she places them at different points on the eight and she's practicing, practicing her shot from there. I think that it's really developed from her junior year to senior year now. And, and she's really become known for that. Um, she's super powerful, um, but her, she's able to place it at any different point in the cage, um, which I think makes it so dangerous because it's not the same spot that she's hitting all the time on the shot, which I think is great. Um, and she's put a lot of work into it. Um, I think that it's been something that we have talked about a lot. Um, and I think last year there was a, a, a full buy-in um, to shooting more overhand versus sidearm with the shot, which I think has really helped her um, and being so dangerous um, from the eight or any shot from the outside. She just has a cannon and can let it go. And um, I think it's, you know, a huge, huge for us. And um, it's really exciting to watch. Rough guess on the speed of her eight meter. Oh, yeah. it's fast. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked that she was clocked uh, 75, maybe I, I, eight. I don't know. It's she's it's there's some speed on that shot. Shannon, two home games this week. You host Stony Brook on Friday at seven and Vanderbilt on Sunday at 12. Uh, Friday's game will be on the LAC Sports Network and Sunday will be on Flow Live. Uh, your thoughts going into these two home games are pivotal home games uh, as we near conference play just really excited one to be home and then two to play such great competition in Stony Brook and Vanderbilt this weekend. I think it's really exciting for our program, really exciting for Hofstra um, and, and our fans to watch some great lacrosse games. And we're excited uh, for the opportunity that's ahead of us this weekend. And our team is working hard. Uh, Shannon, we uh, can't wait to see you guys at home at James M. Short Stadium this weekend. Again, Friday at seven versus Stony Brook. Sunday at 12 against Vanderbilt. Uh, look forward to see you guys this weekend. Good luck, and we'll talk to you again next week. Sounds great, Stephen. Thank you so much. And thank you, Hofstra fans, for joining us in the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach, Shannon Smith.